finals. Again, it was a very busy day. We uh, started with some autograph sessions this morning. Um, we've got a lot of things going with the Roping DVD, the Ribbon DVD that I just released yesterday, um, making sure that it's in all the booths that it needs to be in, doing a lot of signings for the DVD itself. Um, and then went out to practice with Trevor so we can kind of sharpen up, get ready for tonight, and go at him again tonight. So we're about an hour away from roping one. Hopefully we can put a good run together tonight to see where that takes us. You know, really and truly for us to be as professional as we'd like to be, the only way to do that is to just pretend last night didn't happen. You know, it, of course it did and it is in our mind, but we just got to keep roping the way that we rope and not let it deter any of our plans that we have out here. It's still so early. I've had a lot of people ask me, what did that do as far as the world title race? And, you know, predictions are so weak in the long run. I mean, we can start predicting now. I don't remember in the last eight or nine years coming to the national finals that the world championship didn't come down to the, until the 10th round, so, or it came down to the 10th round. So we've still got a long ways to go. We've got eight steers left. We need to take it one steer at a time for us to, uh, we just got to keep our composure, go make our runs. You know, if, if it goes good or even if it doesn't, if we were to have a mistake tonight, we're going to come in around four with the same middle outlook and the same focus and take round five, round six, round seven, just one round at a time. And if we can make our road, I feel like we're going to win.